There are 566 federally recognized Indian nations in America, and tribal members are citizens of three sovereigns, their tribe, the United States, and the state in which they reside. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss contemporary Indian nations and the United States. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined today by Dr. Ian Record. He's the director of the Partnership for Tribal Governance at the National Congress of American Indians. Dr. Record, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So what I just said is very confusing um, for, I think, a lot of people. Um, I think I don't know if most people know the complexity and the complex history uh, that Native Americans have with the United States. Walk us through that. Walk us through that. In well, 30 seconds or less. In 30 <laughs> seconds or less, exactly. It is a very complex history, and it's a, it's a complex story to tell. Uh, 566 federally recognized tribal nations spread across 34 states, uh, 334 reservations, or reserve lands for, for tribal peoples, um, incredibly uh, diverse when it comes to their cultures, their governance systems, their societies, their ways of life. And, and the struggles that they're facing uh, in the 21st century and the incredible things that they're doing in the 21st century. Sadly, we only, the only time I think we hear about uh, Native Americans and, and uh, the sacred land and so forth is usually around a gambling issue. Uh, but there's, there's much more to it than that in terms of public policy. As I mentioned a few moments ago, they are citizens of three separate legal entities, if you will, the United States, obviously, uh, the state, uh, that they reside in, and, and they walk us through the governance structure of their, of their local community, sure. which is either, what, a tribe, it could be a pueblo, it could be more than that. Absolutely. So, so tribal nations are recognized in the U.S. Constitution as part of the American family of governments. They are recognized as sovereign governments that actually predated the creation of the United States. Um, they call themselves tribe, they call themselves nation, in fact, You've seen uh, a movement among many tribes in recent decades to um, do away with the name that was um, thrust upon them by the federal government and return to the name that makes sense to them. Which is what? Nation. It could be something in their own language. There's a, there's a Pueblo in New Mexico, for instance, that did away with the name that was bestowed upon them by the Spanish and went back to their own name, Okeowinge. Uh, and you're seeing this movement as part of a cultural rec rec reclamation process that is that is really taking root and spreading across Indian country. And walk us through your organization. Are, are, are you here to raise awareness, to lobby for federal policy as it relates to Native Americans? And, 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 and secondly, is Native Americans, is that the appropriate term to use? Based on uh, what you said a few moments there's ago? There's an ongoing debate about that. Uh, Native peoples, Native Americans, some prefer American Indians, some prefer indigenous peoples. I don't think there's any one right way. Uh, most Native people that you, that you meet will introduce themselves um, in accordance with their own specific tribal nation and not as an American Indian or as, an, or as a Native I American see. or as an Alaska Native. Uh, the National Congress of American Indians does all of those things that you, that you just laid out. Uh, one of the most important things we do is educate the public uh, and educate policymakers about um, the issues that matter to tribal nations and peoples and the fact that those issues might not be the same across all of those nations and peoples and that um, uh, policymakers, the general public, the mainstream media really needs to um, take care to understand um, the complexity and the, and the diversity that is Indian country. Speaking of diversity, unfortunately we have 30 seconds left, Dr. Record. The only uh, Native American that I can recall being in the Congress was Ben Nighthorse Campbell from, from, camp, uh, from Colorado. Is that accurate? And is, is there any more Native Americans uh, in, the, in the Congress that you know of uh, that identify as Native American? There are. Um, Tom Cole from Oklahoma. I see. Um, and there's others. Uh, there's a growing number of uh, Native Americans who are, who are, um, who are winning uh, seats in state legislatures. I see. And, uh, and that's part of uh, increasing their voice. Well, we got about 10 seconds left. I have to have you back on because I want to talk about Native Americans in Congress in terms of advancing public policy. Thank you very much. Keep up the great work. Thank you. And thank you very much for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.